Thank you, Ashley. Well, this morning, Vanessa Guillen's family is battling mixed emotions. The only person charged in connection with the Fort Hood soldier's death copped a plea deal. Six News reporter Meredith Haas is live outside the federal courthouse in Waco, where the shocking deal came down. And Meredith, what happens now? Jasmine, this guilty plea means that Cecily Aguilar faces 30 years in prison along with the three years supervised release and on top of that, a $1 million fine. Now she pled guilty to one count of accessory to murder after the fact and three counts of false statement of representation. And as you can imagine here at the course, courthouse Tuesday afternoon, it was an absolutely emotional scene for Vanessa Guillen's family. Vanessa Guillen's family was there for the sentencing. They say they were taken back by Aguilar's decision. Myra Guillen, who, was, who has been a very outspoken person in her sister's case, says she was angry and frustrated. Like, I'm very uh, taken back by her decision today. I mean, it, 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 there's still a lot of mixed emotions. I mean, it's both anger and frustration and just, you know, now we have to wait for the actual sentencing. And I'm glad that we're going to have an opportunity to speak uh, in front of the judge and in front of her and, of course, hear what she has to say. A sentencing hearing has not been set, but is expected in the next 90 days for Aguilar. As for the Guillen family, they see this as another step in the long path towards justice for Vanessa. Live in Waco, I'm Meredith Haas. Back to you in the studio. Okay, thank you, Meredith. Yes, it has been a long two and a half, almost three years for that family. Thank you.